So I'm hearing a lot of people talking about uh, Tank Davis next fight. I wasn't gonna really focus on that till probably like next year. Figuring that he already said that he was gonna take the whole year off. I wasn't gonna do too much, even though I felt like uh, with as much talk that was going on last year, I kind of felt like uh, if him and Devin Haney wanted to fight, it could have happened last year as far as with the build up. Uh, it didn't take that long with Ryan Garcia, so I felt like it couldn't take that long with uh, the Devin Haney situation. Because uh, it's now creating a back and forth that just won't stop. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people feel like uh, Tank is in a position that he don't want to take the fight and he needs to make the fight. Well, if people ever follow what Tank said over the years, he ain't never said that he'd make any fights happen. And another thing he said was he don't never ask for uh, certain opponents from these people. You know what I'm saying, from his team. He don't really go in there and say, oh, I want to fight this guy. Give me this guy. They usually go over that for him and do the scouting reports and stuff. They don't. He don't go in there and say, hey, I want Esau Cruz. Or, he don't go in there and say that. You know what I'm saying? So, that's a good thing. That's a bad thing. In this case, for fans who want to see him in the uh, ring with Devin Haney, I guess y'all new to the party. But... Man, that fight been talked about for almost 10 years, man. You know what I'm saying? Probably 10 years. So, it's not really uh something new. I mean, it might be new to people who just fell into it, but that, that fight been talked about. And Devin Haney been the truth. But it's just people starting to realize now, because they're like, oh, well, I thought he lost a Lomachenko. Well, this is my thing right here, though. You got people who thought he lost a Lomachenko, right? They just disappeared. And then the people who uh, think he looked good against Regent Frogger, they just popped up out of nowhere. All these people, I'm like, thought these people don't watch boxing or not. Because a lot of people say they stopped watching boxing after the Lomachenko fight. But all of a sudden, now they, they back up to my how, how good the performance was. So you know how that goes, man. They should have been made to fight. That's why I was telling people last year, y'all y'all putting all this pressure on Ryan Garcia to, uh, and Tank to make that fight. Now y'all don't even talk about that fight no more. It's like it never even happened. All thing people say is they did big numbers. Duh. That's what y'all in it for. I, we can make a whole bunch of fights go big numbers. We trying to see some classics, man. You know what I'm saying? Anybody trying to, if y'all trying to hit the lottery every time, I mean, that's something else y'all gonna have going on, but. A lot of these fights ain't even worth uh, trying to put on pay-per-view, but a lot of people are trying to hit the lottery with these fights now. They're talking about, oh, this, certain, this fight ain't going to do enough, or this fight won't do enough because of this. Man, a lot of these situations with these fights, it don't really sound right no more. I'm confused on a lot of this stuff now. Because I, at, at first I thought uh, people weren't interested in the Devin Haney and Tank fight. I was trying to get that to happen last year. But now this year, everybody interested in it. And it needs to happen now. And uh, Now people saying Tank holding the back. I mean, like he said, bro, he just fight the fights that's uh, in front of him and provide it to him. He don't... Uh, really to do too much, but y'all should have been putting this pressure on him last year, though. I was, the stuff people saying this year, I was already saying last year. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, why would that, why would y'all have a Ryan Garcia fight now? Because, like, let me tell y'all what's weird about the whole situation. It ain't weird to me, but I already knew it. People now, like, after the, the, the Warte fight that Ryan Garcia just had, everybody had, well, basically, like, Ryan got to prove himself. Bro, why did y'all have Tank? Why did y'all have Tank in the ring with a dude who got to prove himself? You know what I'm saying? Like, he supposed to be already proven. He got to prove himself. So he a borderline bomb now. Yeah, the things that I'm seeing right now with Ryan though, uh, they saying, oh, he got to prove himself. Like, why y'all have Tank in the ring with a guy y'all think got to prove himself? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, why are we wasting my time and y'all time? Do y'all got the knowledge about these fights? So we just making suggestions now. Because now, from what I'm saying, it's just... We out here just saying whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I need to see Ryan Garcia fight now with Tank. I need to see that fight now. Now people have seen it, and it's like... They don't care about the fight no more. Why we even had that fight? Like, I, t- I was already saying, and I'm not just saying that now. Why we had a fight, man? Why we? Devin had all the belts last year. Why we couldn't just say see him fight Tank then? That was around the same time the Tank fought Ryan Garcia. That's what I was looking at. You know what I'm saying? But but on the business end, for me, if I was a promoter, I would say, okay, let's. Let's let it build up, you know what I'm saying? Let Tank fight a couple guys, Devin fight a couple guys. But as you can see now, people saying, well, the weight ain't the same. Well, of course, life goes on. Everybody don't stay the same size. You know what I'm saying? Like, that happens. So, I don't understand. Like, do people want Devin Haney to get skinnier as he grows up or what? Like, <laughs> that happens. I mean, if you would have had to fight last year, that wouldn't have been a problem. But all the other stuff, it's just extra, man. It's just fluff, man. But uh, the stuff I'm seeing going on now, though, with them talking about uh, him. And my thing is, we're not even mentioning uh, Lomachenko at 135 no more. You know what I'm saying? People think he's so great. Why we ain't, why we ain't mentioning Tank to go uh, run down Lomachenko and see what he got going on? It's like a whole bunch of stuff going on that's sketchy right now. I don't know what the fans really expecting. But uh, they were boxing fan responsible for this. But I don't, I don't know if these guys are hardcore boxing fans. Most of the hardcore is no, but a lot of these other guys that just follow certain guys like Tank. Man, a lot of y'all guys who, who just follow Tank and know a couple of other boxers' names and run around, bro, y'all the problem, man. Bro, y'all do not know boxing. There's a couple of fans like that. The Mexican fans know. It's a couple of Canelo fans like that, and American fans know that it's a couple of Tank fans like that. They just run around, and they'll sit up here and be like, oh, ain't nobody going to beat them. Like, bro, of course they undefeated. I mean, well, Canelo's not undefeated, but you know what I mean. But, of course, they the top of the line, so, of course, it's, like, easy to say that. But, bro, the way they go about it, it's, like, it's casual for real. It's not even no real conversation as far as boxing. It's just some other stuff that's thrown around. It's not really no real conversation. That's why a lot of fans be like, man, I don't want to hear about that. I just, I just watch the other guys fight. The guys we know that's going to fight. From now on, you know what I'm saying, we just don't even pay attention to that no more. If Tank get in the ring with Ryan Garcia or Devin or, or whoever, when they get in the ring, we're going to watch it. They don't. They don't. That's just how it's going to go. But if you're trying to figure out who fought and who did this all day, man, no way, man. Ain't nobody finna go through all that all day. We're going to wait till they sign some papers and then we'll figure it out then. But to go back and forth about what size somebody is and all that, it's kind of a waste of time, man. This stuff already been going on for years, though. They be going back and forth online. And I'm going to be real. Anytime somebody go back and forth online about a fight, it ain't going to happen. I don't care who it is. That's why every time when Devin Haney fight, then Tank tweet about something. I'm like, yep. Let me go ahead and look the other way. I'm not going to pay attention to this. I'm not going to pay attention to what he talking about or anybody talking about. Cause I'm pretty sure he didn't said it before if it's, if it's gonna be said. Definitely said it before. And most of the time he didn't said it before. People talking about that. And then you know what's crazy? Tank be saying the same stuff Canelo be saying. Same stuff, I promise. He'll sit up here and be like, oh yeah, I hear Ben and his dad talking. Then Tank like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Devin Haney's dad be talking like, bro. Of course, like, who's, bro, 
Hold on, let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all know any dad in sports history that's been around his son or close to his son in the sports game? You know what I'm saying? Out in the open that's been quiet or not talking, especially if a microphone in his face. Like, come on now. If Michael Jordan's dad was alive right now, you think they wouldn't be interviewing him? So, of course, you're going to hear his dad. I mean, both of them be saying that. That has nothing to do with uh, stand up to fight, man. Most of the time. I mean, the only time I hear that is when they talk about certain guys, too. Only time. I'm sitting here like, why is that being brought up? You know what I'm saying? If you beat them, you can just shut them up. You don't even have to go back and forth with his dad or anybody. Just shut him up and end it. And he'll be done. You won't have to go back and forth with anybody. End him, shut him up. He'll be all over with. He'll be all right. But y'all the problem though, man. I was like, man, I don't want to see this Hector Garcia versus Tank fight. I don't know why Tank fighting at 130 right now. Anyways, I don't know if he... Oh, he a champion. It's going to be a good fight. He's going to be a good fight. He just beat uh, Chris Colbert. He just beat Lil b -Hop. I'm like, man, I don't want to see the fight, though, man. I'd rather see something else. You know what I'm saying? Devin Haney finna fight... Uh, what? Devin Haney just fought Kim Bosas. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really trying to see that. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, these dudes talking about uh, talking about fighting somebody else, man. They were not even think about Devin Haney. They're talking about Devin Haney ain't qualified. He ain't fought nobody. Now nah, he the biggest conversation. Early in the year, they say Devin Haney's not a, uh, in the conversation for a big fight. Now they say, oh, yeah, well, they need to fight. Him and Tank need to fight. I was saying that before the Ryan Garcia fight. I guess everybody think Ryan Garcia is uh, at a higher level than Devin Haney was. Well, they thought that, you know what I'm saying? But I can't make everybody see what I see. It's not going to happen. But let's just say early this year, most boxing fans thought that Ryan Garcia was a, a better fighter than Devin Haney was. Just being honest, they thought Ryan Garcia was a better fighter than Devin Haney. And they thought he had no chance against Tank. Now they think he has a chance, and now they think that he's better than Devin Haney, which is kind of odd because they wasn't saying this type of stuff before, but a lot of these guys, I'm pretty sure after one fight, you know what I'm saying, they kind of jump off the bandwagon. That's why it's kind of, I'll tell you what hurt the sport of Boston. Like, back in the day, a lot of Mexican fighters and different American fighters uh, like Tyson, those guys, and Holyfield, they used to fight each other, you know what I'm saying? So, nobody cared if they lost because by the time uh, they got over the loss, it was time to fight again. So, that's why a lot of times we get cheated because we don't get to see what a guy is really made of after he get over a loss, you know what I'm saying? Or different things like that. We got guys waiting so long and fighting so far out that you're not really getting the... Um, high quality fights like you used to. Guys used to fight so much back in the day, they used to keep themselves in shape by fighting. But now it's not like that. They kind of uh, going away from that, doing different things as far as uh, trying to just keep training and doing hand work. I mean, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Being on the bag, on the mitts all day, but at the end of the day, um, being in the ring is way more valuable. And what's crazy is they'll do it early in their career, but later on, they they won't do it. But then when it gets later on, that's the time when they need to be in the ring a lot more. And that kind of hurt their career. So a lot of times, they got to figure out what's going on out here. And what they going to uh, accept as far as being uh, off on long layoffs and different things. But especially with Tank, uh, now he's fighting a lot, then he's slowing down, fighting a lot, then slowing down. So they just got to figure it out, man. And the opponents, 
He got to he gotta grab some opponents that's going to get him prepared. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys, they're not going to get him prepared um, when he gets up to high competition. People might joke about with, uh, Shakira last performance, but he'll do better than what most of these guys been uh, putting on the table for uh, Tank. And the last couple of uh, people he's uh, fought, I mean, a lot of people wasn't impressed with Ryan Garcia last performance. I thought he did decent. A lot of people wasn't impressed. Uh, Hector Garcia, a lot of people wasn't impressed with uh, Hector Garcia last performance. And he took a loss. So the guy Tank just beat, he just lost. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, I don't know. It's a little shaky out here when it comes to certain things. So you got the Hector Garcia situation. You got Tank. Uh, I don't know. The only thing that's making Tank look good right now is the Barrio situation. A lot of people he's fought, it's kind of looking like a Canelo situation where I don't know if people are getting destroyed after they fight them guys or it's just the money. I think a lot of times it's the money. You know what I'm saying? Even though I, I really don't like to use that excuse because Canelo get paid more than everybody every fight. So that's not an excuse I want to use for certain people, especially with Charlo, these guys. You know what I'm saying? Especially with uh, Andre coming off a loss. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna, uh, I hope I don't hear no excuse from nobody uh, coming up saying, well, you know, I got paid well, so let me get comfortable. Nah, everybody gonna get the same kind of uh, treatment. I'm not letting nobody off the hook with that. But I definitely feel like, uh, uh, but I definitely feel like with the uh, whole situation with this man, he got to, um, Tank got to figure it out. Because it's so many 135s, bro, just fight a young, talented guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Do like Floyd used to do. Pick out of there, get you a, a Canelo, somebody like that out of there, 23, 21. I wouldn't mind seeing some, hey, if you fight Floyd Schofield, he's super young, but hey, he is what it is. He ain't 10 years apart, like, uh, how everybody trying to have boots and uh, Crawford. But it is what it is. I like to see that. There's a lot of guys at 135, man. Let's make it work, man. Tia Fimo finna uh, try to get in there with Jermaine Ortiz. Top talent at 135. Now it look like now 140. Come on, man. What's the problem? But I blame the Boston fans, man. Y'all the ones that sit up here and shove Ryan Garcia in our face. Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia. I'm like, okay, bro. I, I know Ryan Garcia. We've been watching him the whole time. He just fought on his own. Yeah, I know Ryan Garcia here. I'd like to see uh, a Devin Haney fight or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm trying to get Devin Haney to fight Loma Chico. I'm going to try to get Loma Chico to fight Devin Haney. Then Devin Haney, he go ahead and make Lomachenko famous after being in the game all the time. People like, he lost. People don't even mention Lomachenko no more. I'll never understand that. But as y'all can see now, man, uh, I would have liked it better if Tank wouldn't just respond after the... Uh, that's the only thing that never irritated me. I don't want to hear him respond after Devin Haney fight. You know what I'm saying? Tweeting about it. Because... You got a whole bunch of people telling me, oh yeah, Devin Haney trash, because Tank said so. So I don't even want to hear all that uh, tweeting stuff, bro. And when you tweeting stuff just to uh, say somebody trash, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you will be somebody, yeah, that's cool. But to say they trash, no. Nah. If he trash, Loma Chico trash then. That's what I'm saying. People don't want to do those uh, back and forth, them, them analogies like that. They don't want to do those. Then they want to be like, no, I respect Lomachenko. I think he's a good fighter. Well, he lost. 
<laughs> okay, he lost. We're doing all that. If you a man, treat him like he a man too. He lost. He lost like a man, treat him like a man. We're trying to baby him. He is not he is not your son. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out here trying to baby Lone Chingo. Oh, yo, he's a great fighter. I, we know that. All right, that ain't the question. Oh, you don't want to answer the question? Oh, I thought you were from the streets. Oh, all right. Okay, I thought you were from the block. You don't even want to say he looked terrible in the last fight. But you'll say the dude who beat him looked terrible. Okay. Yeah, what we doing? But uh, the, the boxing fans got to start asking for better fights, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all asking for blockbuster fights, but then y'all, a year later, not even a year later, the same year, y'all sitting around turning around and saying, oh, we want to see this fight. We want to see the best fight, the best. That's why we tired of the boxing. Y'all was just asking and begging for Ryan Garcia first thing. This year, y'all said, this is the best fight we need to see in. We good with this one. This going to be the biggest fight ever. And after this, we ain't going to need no more. And, uh, Tank fighting the best right now. Now he ain't fighting the best no more. Had no problem with the Ryan Garcia fight. Now a couple months later, we got a problem with it. Come on, man. Let's be realistic, man. According to y'all, that was a big fight. So how many big fights you supposed to have in a year? And I'm not making no excuses. I'm just saying that this is what y'all, this is the problem I had with y'all. The same problem y'all have now with Devin. I mean, not with Devin, but with uh, the Devin and Tank situation. Now I had, I had last year. I moved past that. Now y'all own that. When I said, nah, man, don't focus on the Ryan fight, because then Tank going to say, he ain't got to deal with them other guys, because he over that now, after he had the Ryan fight. Because y'all heard what, what, was, what was going on up until the fight, leading up to the fight. Whoever win this fight, the face of boss. Whoever win this fight, the face of boss. Whoever win this fight. They kept saying it over and over. They were letting y'all know. Hey, after this fight, Tank ain't finna fight. Nobody y'all asking for. This the fight y'all asked for, take it, and it's over with after that. Then that was a wrap. People was like, oh, yeah, we're going to have this fight on social media. It was all kind of stuff going on. They said the fight was going to be on social media. It was going to be the first social media fight. All kind of different stuff they were just coming up with. Props and different kind of minority report effects. Fight on the internet, on social media. I'm still trying to figure out where that came from. I don't even know what that means still. I wish I could go back and find somebody who was trying to explain it. Cause it never happened. It wasn't true. They promoted that fight, boy. They did some stuff. They were talking about some stuff they never even end up doing. Social media fight. Yeah, because they got so many followers, we're going to end up trying to do something on social media. Now we got everybody begging it for a Devin Haney fight. Begging. And then, just six months ago, they was begging for Shakur Stevens. Oh, I, we want to see Shakur and Tank. Shakur and Tank. Tank. Oh, Devin born. He born. We don't want to see him. He ain't got no power. He born. He ain't got no power and he born. We don't want to see him. We want to see Tank. We don't want to see him. We want to see Tank. End up seeing, and then end up seeing Devin in this fight with Regis Progray. Now they like, oh yeah, we need to we need to see the tank versus Devin fight. Why we ain't seen that yet? Why y'all ain't been asking for it yet? But that's all I got though, man. Like and subscribe.